Now comes the amazing finish to the test match with Wesley Hall bowling the first ball of the last over. I told the captain I was going to bowl a bounce at Benno and he forbidden me from doing so. And the very next ball, I, I promptly bowled a bounce, so he, he got a top edge and it went straight into Alexander's glove. And um, I triumphantly walked back to the captain, expecting him to um, give me a clap on the shoulder or something like that. And he admonished me greatly because he said I disobeyed his orders and I, the top edge could have gone higher and the four runs were very expensive indeed and we would have lost. Ball bowling the fourth ball. Mekif starts to run. Paul picks up and throws, but he misses a certain run out. The fifth ball. Four runs to win. Route swings, the ball goes high in the air. Paul races across and he drops the ball. It was a bit like a limited over match where everyone goes berserk and runs themselves out and hits balls up in the air and there are feeling errors. But uh, it was a, a sensational thing. No one uh, could relax. Lindsay Klein, I seem to remember, was sitting on his batting gloves and couldn't find them when he had to go out to bat. And there's so much tension around. There's more tension than any other occasion uh, I'd ever played cricket. The go off and he's run out. The scores are tied. One wicket left. Ball bowling the seventh ball to Klein. Mackett is run out. The match has finished in a tie. It uh, really was something. Only 4,000 people there, and yet I reckon I've spoken to about 60,000 who all reckon they were there at the game.